Okay. Hello, I'm Professor Jason Whitaker and I'm head of the School of English and Journalism. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our programs that we offer within the school. If you've not yet had a chance to visit Lincoln, I must also recommend this as a beautiful city with lots of historic settings, which forms a great place to live, work and study. The School of English and Journalism consists of about 750 students at undergraduate and postgraduate with a range of courses that go across <clears throat> that go across English, journalism, creative writing and public relations. The thing that brings all of those disciplines together is a desire to understand the world and to communicate to people both in the UK and around the globe. You'll have the opportunity today to speak to colleagues who, in our subject talks who will be able to tell you in more detail the kind of things that you'll do if you apply to one of our many programs. What I want to do today is to give you a little flavour of those individual disciplines and also then to talk a little bit about the sort of things you can do with a degree from the School of English and Journalism. If you're one of the applicants who's interested in studying English, then the first thing that I always say to students applying to Lincoln is that one of the most important things is that your interest in, in the subject has to begin with pleasure. If you have no desire or no love to read a lot of books, you're going to find it incredibly difficult to study on English. But it's a discipline, and indeed one that I studied myself, which appeals to people who want to expand their knowledge across a range of, of texts from historical periods and also then writers from the contemporary period and in different cultures. If you come to Lincoln, you'll join a research active team who are not simply telling you what others think of the text that you'll be studying, but themselves are also expanding our knowledge of the subject. We have particular interests here and specialisms in 19th century literature and also contemporary and 21st century literature. But as I mentioned before, because Lincoln is such an important historic site, you'll also have the opportunity to study medieval English and medieval literature, in particular taking advantage of our links to the libraries attached to the um, cathedral, which for a period of time was one of the highest buildings in the world, and is still an exceptional place to visit during your stay here. For students applying to journalism, this is one of the longest standing courses that's been in existence at Lincoln, and we're incredibly proud of what our students have achieved over the years, with a great many of them going to work on in broadcast and print institutions, such as Sky, Sky Sports, the BBC, and Channel 4 News. One of the things that's really important to your studies here at the university is the notion of student as producer, and one of the things that this means that's incredibly important for your time studying on our programmes is that you learn to be a journalist, for example, as much through doing and engaging with the practice of going out, collecting news and then composing the stories, writing the, and producing the packages that can be seen both by other students, but also when they go viral around the globe. The aim then is for you to spend as much time as possible working as a journalist, as well then as exploring the intellectual debates that surround journalism. Probably at no point in our his recent history has journalism been so fractious and so important with accusations of fake news doing the rounds on a daily basis. Here, as well as learning to be a journalist, you'll also explore some of the ethical and theoretical implications of what the news means and what journalism, how journalism affects us in our daily lives. Creative writing is another practice-oriented subject that has started to grow rapidly in recent years at Lincoln. Students who join us on the course 
are taught by practitioners of the craft, whether it's poets, novelists, scriptwriters, playwrights, or indeed, in my case, nonfiction writers. We'll introduce you to the elements of the industry, how to get your work published, as well as then the, the issues of crafting your narrative, of engaging with dialogue, of characterization, and all the skills that you'll need to be a successful writer. Throughout the, the programs, again, the importance is on students as producer. You'll engage in elements of workshopping which concentrate on honing your skills, on developing your understanding of what you're trying to do. And the aim is always to fashion and craft your work so that it will read as well as possible. With communications and public relations, the communication aspect is something that in many respects runs across all the programs that we offer in the school. For public relations specialists, however, the particular focus is on dealing with those organizations that we all have to engage with on a daily basis. Encountering and discussing and exploring the ways that you can deal with the various issues and problems that may affect them, whether it's something like the NHS, charities or other businesses. Thus, for example, dealing with um, emergencies um, and crisis management issues, learning how to explore and build trust between an organization and the people who need to use it. These are some of the important skills that you will develop during your time with us here at Lincoln. Again, a really important part is that we want you to engage in the practice of being a public relations specialist. And as such, you'll have plenty of opportunities to gain experience by working with our student-led organization, Signet PR. For these four disciplines, English, journalism, creative writing and public relations, there are also then opportunities to do joint degrees, to study one part of a subject alongside another. As well as what you learn in the classroom, an incredibly important part of coming to university are those extracurricular activities which you'll engage with. Very often, the successes that you will discover later on in life come not simply from what you engage with learning through seminars and lectures, but also then the people that you meet and the other activities that you do. I'll just go through three examples to show the sorts of things that students can do in the School of English and Journalism. We have a long-standing student newspaper, which is run by and entirely for students, with them serving as editors and writers, deciding what the stories will be, and then bringing them together into a quarterly issue. There's a community radio and student radio-led radio stations, whereby many of our people who are here, for example, doing English or creative writing, may also find that they have additional skills as presenters and working on the production of shows that go out. We've also recently started a literary journal, the Lincoln Review. And again, there are plenty of opportunities for students to work as editors with established writers, bringing together the stories, the poetry, and the nonfiction that they produce. An important fact here is to kind of draw attention to the what are often referred to as transferable skills, the things that you will take with you once you complete your degree. In my own case, having studied as an English graduate for many years, I then moved into journalism for a period of time. And actually the things that I had learned in terms of the ability to work across a huge number of texts, to take in large quantities of information, but also then to communicate it to wide audiences, were skills that were invaluable to me going forward. Please take the opportunities to ask other people giving presentations throughout the day any questions that you may have regarding our courses. The programs that we run here are small, intimate, you will get to know people and your tutors will always have your best interests at heart. As I've said before, Lincoln is a beautiful and historic city. It's one where you'll be able to fulfill yourself in a whole host of ways should you come to live here, both as a student and also somebody joining in the wider community. Thank you for listening to my talk today, and I hope you find plenty of more information through the talks that are going.